I wanted to ask a question to place this in the context um, because this is uh, about uniting Catholic Catholics against the enemies of Holy Church. And it's interesting how when there's, uh, you know, the, the conflict in the Middle East right now with Israel between the Jews and the Mohammedans, there's often Catholics are either siding very strongly with the Jews or very strongly with the Mohammedans sometimes. And there's actually Catholics on both sides of that particular Israeli conflict because there are Catholics who are Israeli citizens. There's Hebrew Catholics. There's many different ethnic groups who live in Israel who are Catholics. And then there's also Arab Catholics who live in Gaza. Um, and that's why the Bishop of Jerusalem, who has been great, totally man, man of God, has been fighting for Catholics on both sides of that dispute. Um, but the question I think is first, who is the greater enemies of Holy Church? Because we have done a series on these people, the J word, uh, because there are, it seems that there are some Jews who actually hate Jesus because they explicitly reject Jesus. Um, there are hundreds of Jewish organizations which claim after the Dobbs decision that abortion is Jewish value. And so they're claiming they're actually taking child murder and child sacrifice as a part of their religion. Um, besides the fact that the Talmud says certain things about Jesus and Mary. And at the same time, there are some Jews who will actually accept uh, both historically and nowadays, there are Jews who will accept a Christian social order and they'll actually fight w on the, on the same side. Like they'll go for the, they'll go to the March for life. They'll, they'll actually fight on the same side as the Catholics against other Jews who may be promoting something. And if the, it's the same is true with Mohammedans. You have some Mohammedans who are very zealous about their religion. I would say that they're zealous to impose Sharia. They're zealous to subjugate non-believers, etc. And then there's these other Mohammedans who actually join with Catholics in fighting against abortion. And they're not they're OK with that. Some Muslims are, especially in the West, Muslims are they have accepted a lot of Western things like they've accepted free will, for example, even though that's traditionally denied in Muslim philosophy. Um, and they've adopted many Western things like they promote monogamy. They say, oh, well, we, we actually they actually use the Quran to promote monogamy instead of polygamy. Things like that. So it seems to me that the it depends on the individual Jew and the individual Mohammedan whether or not they are there, there seem to be a spectrum within these two religions as to some of them will actually ally with the Catholics. Some of them will outright deny because the Mohammedans is interesting because the Mohammedans venerate Christ. They venerate Jesus and Mary. They love Jesus and Mary. They're just Arians in terms of the belief about Jesus. Um, gentlemen, what do you think about this Jews and Mohammed Mohammedans? Uh, it's, it seems to me that the Mohammedans are probably the, the bigger threat at this point. I know that there's a lot, um, that needs to be worked through as far as the, uh, our, our, our Jewish friends, um, and, and certain, you know, it, it's tempting to, um, you learn things about the past and you learn things about the present and it's tempting to just categorize an entire group of people based on that kind of thing. So, you know, you have your, uh, we'll, we'll call them Hollywood Jews for, for lack of a better term, people who maybe have more of a, uh, nefarious agenda. And then you have your, your normal, you know, again, for lack of a better term. Um, and, and, and all that's fine. And so, you know, where's the line exactly? Sometimes it's hard to tell. And what, what do these folks actually think? And what are, what are they? What are their goals? Again, sometimes it's hard to tell. But I think uh, if we're if we're thinking worldwide, and we're thinking threats to the church per se, then it's it's definitely Islam. It's definitely. I mean, think about who's halfway around the world, you know, targeting Christians, blowing up churches. I don't think it's the Jews. Um, kidnapping young girls in Africa, selling them into sex slavery. I don't think that's the Jews. Um, so for for these reasons. 
and and taking over uh, a soft takeover, like a soft invasion in France. You know, I heard the other day, uh, I forget which source, but uh, that. Oh, no, it was on Larry Chap's channel. He had two guys on talking about French philosophers and how they were decrying some of the ills of the modern world. And as part of the loss of Christian values, they commented as a side note that um, it's their understanding that France now has one of the largest Muslim populations outside of the Middle East. Well, France is the eldest daughter of the church and so on and so on. And so you can see how if this isn't attended to and taken seriously, uh, then we're probably in for the same treatment. Like Nicholas said, you know, projections based on declining birth rate of Westerners and rising birth rate of those who don't share our general worldview and our, and our culture, even if they're not practicing, like we still have a common root still. Um, those things will be threatened in the very near future. Maybe not our lifetimes, but maybe our children's. So for those reasons, uh, I, I think that the uh, the Mohammedans, the, the Muslims, however we want to term them, they're probably the more serious threat for Catholics. What do you mm -hmm. think, Nick? I agree. I think that most Muslims uh, and Jews in the West, I would say, um, become secularized or even to a degree, if you will, Christianized and elements of their practice and morality by osmosis. So because our, our nations are so influenced by Christianity in the broad sense of the term, um, they will tend to downplay those things, as well as by osmosis, they will become secularized. So when you talk to your average Muslim in the United States today, um, most likely they don't know the Quran from a phone book. It's going to be very, very weak. But to be fair, most Catholics don't know the Bible from a phone book either. So, you know, there, there does seem to be this uh, tendency because of secular liberalism that kind of both sides put it down. The issue, of course, though, is that um, there, you know, any person who wants to be devout in his or her religion has to go to its own sources and study. And when we go back to the Islamic sources, as many Muslims here in the West have done, they will find typically that um, they're, they're horrified and they're shocked by just how violent the faith seems to be, um, especially when we do comparisons to the person of Christ. When we look at the person of Christ, he, um, one of the church's arguments for the validity of his message is that when we look, you see that Christ did not gain any earthly wealth right from his teaching ministry. He did not gain any earthly power. He was obviously not popular with the secular rulers of either the Romans or the Jews. Um, he did not gain any women. He did not gain any um, accolades, if you will, from the emperor, etc. So he, he didn't get these things, but yet he continued to preach um, and his apostles did to their deaths. And of course, our Lord's resurrection, etc. Um, Whereas when we compare him to the person of Muhammad, Muhammad, of course, um, 600 years after the person of Christ, speaking a language um, that neither the disciples nor our Lord spoke, um, and he's pontificating about the person of Christ and about other Old Testament prophets, etc. Um, but he launches 87 wars in his lifetime, 87 wars. Most of them, around 67 or so, are um, official massive raids, but then others are wars where you know, as an example, Muhammad, one time when he sacked a city, um, beheaded 500 Jews himself on one day. You know, when we do comparisons between him and the person of our Lord, we see night and day. So while everyone may be somewhat ignorant of his or her faith here in the West, I think that when we go back to the sources, we'll start to see the tendencies in the direction, if you will, of the religions. And so it's important to know these things. Agreed. Well, yeah. Absolutely. Um, well, I, I just wanted to comment on that before we began the Mohammedans. We have a 19 part series on the website where we discuss all the things about the Jews, but it's all too controversial to discuss on YouTube because as soon as you start talking about the Jews, then all these different censors go in, hits the website. So you go to meaningofcatholic.com slash the hyphen Jewish hyphen question and guild members can access this whole series on the website we can talk all about the uh actually banister and i talk about our history and uh history and uh, messianic judaism it's, it's a hilarious video in fact so 
you go to go to that, meetofcatholic.com slash register. If you're not a member, you can get into all the Jewish stuff. 